All right, guys, before we get into my video, I wanted to play back this video that I put together for you guys to give you a bit of an idea of what's coming up. Let's have a play. It is importing Trump-style politics to Australia. It is post-truth. And its aim Wrong. is to polarise. Its aim is to sow division in our, in our society by making false claims do not let no campaign get away with using Trump-style politics in Australia. The pro proposed change is constitu constitutionally sound and legally safe. Wrong. I know it doesn't suit the narrative. I love those uh, videos of Trump from the debates with Hillary Clinton in 2016. How good were they? And I just juxtaposed juxtap that. Uh, next to each other with Linda Burney, the Indigenous Affairs Minister, talking about the voice to Parliament yesterday. Now, one of the main things that we're hearing now from the Yes camp, they're trying to create this whole narrative around this is some sort of Trump-style uh, campaign being run by the No Group, and they're using these Trump tactics and all these type of Trump derangement syndrome-style words which is complete nonsense. I mean, until these people started bringing it up, I don't think many people would have even made uh, such a connection. But they're using this because their arguments, I think, are falling flat uh, with the Australian people. They're struggling to get their message out there because it is so vague. And just like Trump said when he said wrong, uh, there are many elements of the things that they're describing which don't make sense. And it's not just uh, you know the no campaign which are calling them out even elements of the mainstream media have called them out, right? We saw Albanese on Channel 10 on the project of all places uh, struggling to answer very simple questions about what the voice is. So look, I think this is just a play by this uh, Yes campaign to uh, to try to reframe this uh, as some sort of uh, judgment on people's values and what they represent, you know, whether they're racist or right-wing extremists, all the kind of usual tropes that we see uh, pranced out when we're looking at orange man, bad Donald Trump in the media. They're trying to pull a quick one over the Australian people, but I think people are not falling for it. And uh, one of the funnier things I've seen is Linda Burney actually being compared to uh, this woman here, Nancy Pelosi, uh, one of Trump's uh, arch nemesis from uh, uh, his time in the presidency. So let's just have a look at Pelosi and we'll have a some look at some footage of Linda and we'll see maybe why people are making this comparison. Look, right now, my focus is on holding the house. How many times have I told you over the past year and a half plus? It was not called out by one media outfit. It was not written about by one media outfit. Right now. It was not called out by one on media outfit. How many times have I it was told not you written about by one media outfit? The Democrat. I said first we're gonna win. And that's really the issue. Okay. Did you not okay. Uh, my focus is the people will vote yes. Are we speaking a different language? <laughs> First we win, then we decide. We are, uh, we are uh, in the campaign for a yes vote, and that is where the focus is. That is where my belief is, and I believe that's where the Australian people are at. All right, guys, so we have the Aussie Pelosi, uh, the Australian version of Nancy Pelosi, and similar mannerism, similar manner of speaking, uh, similar kind of gestures they make when they're talking, and of course, a lot of the things that they're saying don't make sense. Uh, it's very hard to kind of uh, take some of the things they say and try to compute what exactly they're trying to convey, but they themselves have, uh, have it all worked out, it seems, and they're very uh, persistent on their frame of mind. Now, if you're enjoying my videos, guys, uh, please feel free to follow along on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, threads now, threads, right? Instagram have their threads, Twitter competitor. You can find me there as well if you use that.
app. Uh, otherwise, uh, on Odyssey and Rumble for the alternative platforms as well. You can also search up Rukshan Fernando. And I'd love to know your thoughts. What do you think? Linda Burney, uh, Nancy Pelosi, maybe they're long lost sisters. What do you reckon? <laughs> they're very similar in many ways. And this Trump derangement syndrome, I don't think the Australian uh, population is going to fall for it. And uh, we can see we can see right through them. All right, guys. See you next time.